Happiness is the key in deciding the best countries, and happiness is always a choice that anyone can make. Regardless of where you are and what you are going through, you can still choose to be happy. You can still choose to smile. Here are the 10 best countries to live in the world in 2019. Switzerland. Switzerland is a small country in Central Europe made up of 16,000 square miles of glacier-carved Alps, lakes, and valleys. It's one of the world's wealthiest countries, and it has been well known for centuries for its neutrality. Switzerland has low unemployment, a skilled labor force, and one of the highest gross domestic products per capita in the world. The country's strong economy is powered by low corporate tax rates, a highly developed service sector led by financial services, and a high-tech manufacturing industry. The country prides itself on its diversity and is home to regions with distinct cultural identities. Switzerland is one of the most modern and stylish tourism offering nations in the world. The scenery in Switzerland has a lot to offer for those moving there. It is famous for its dramatic mountains and calm lakes. The temperature does vary from different locations and tends to be warmer in the south and cooler in the north. Japan. Japan, one of the world's most literate and technically advanced nations. While most of Japan is covered by mountains and heavily wooded areas, the country's roughly 126 million people lead a distinctly urban lifestyle. Long culturally influenced by its neighbors, today the country blends its ancient traditions with aspects of Western life. Japan is known worldwide for its traditional arts, including tea ceremonies, calligraphy, and flower arranging. All residents of Japan are required by law to have health insurance coverage. In Japan, harmony is everything. Japanese people follow rules and try to avoid conflicts as much as possible. They are very harmonious and very disciplined. The crime rate in Japan is relatively low, and the policemen don't have guns. Canada. Canada takes up about two-fifths of the North American continent, making it the second largest country in the world after Russia. Canada is regarded one of the best countries to live in the world because of its exceptional factors like high rate of life satisfaction, low murder rates, unique old age pension programs, and mostly free healthcare system. It is also regarded as one of the most peaceful countries in the world. It values education and has long ensured all young citizens have access to the best schooling available no matter what their background. More than half of its residents graduate from college. Canada is the second largest country in the world and undoubtedly one of the most beautiful. From ice-bound Arctic tundra and snow-sprinkled peaks to sparkling lakes and vast woodlands, Canada can take your breath away at every turn. Germany. Germany, the most populous nation in the European Union, possesses one of the largest economies in the world and has seen its role in the international community grow steadily since reunification. In the world market, Germany has a workforce of high skills, less corruption, and high degree of innovation and large capital stock. Germany is one of the globe's leading importers and exporters. Services, which include industries such as telecommunications, healthcare, and tourism, contribute the greatest amount to the country's economy. Germany is also one of the world's most popular migration destinations, though its open-door policy has become a point of contention in the wake of crimes committed within the country's borders recently. United Kingdom the United Kingdom is a highly developed nation that exerts considerable international economic, political, scientific, and cultural influence. The capital city, London, is a major international financial center and one of the most visited cities in the world. The banking and tourism industries are parts of a larger service sector that powers much of the nation's economic growth. It is also a world leader when it comes to medicine and research and boasts some of the best hospitals you can find. The United Kingdom is also home to some of the top universities in the world, including Oxford, Cambridge, and Imperial College London. The outdoorsmen and women will be right at home with all the beautiful country Great Britain has to offer. 
you'll be able to hike mountains, stroll through fabled countrysides, and enjoy a coastline that is beyond beautiful. Sweden. The Kingdom of Sweden, flanked by Norway to the west and the Baltic Sea to the east, is one of the largest countries in the European Union by landmass. Despite its militaristic roots, Sweden has remained neutral in times of war for centuries. Instead, commitment to human rights, public service, and sustainability have helped make it a respected leader in international affairs. Healthcare, as well as college education, are free and its people boast one of the longest life expectancies in the world. If you are planning on having children here, parents here get 480 days of paid parental leave to share between them. Swedes are some of the world's most generous people, donating about 1% of gross national product to humanitarian aid programs each year. The society continues to diversify as a growing number of refugees currently accounting for 10% of the population, are welcomed into Swedish borders. Australia, a country and a continent surrounded by the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Australia has one of the lowest air pollution levels in the world. It is considered a wealthy nation with a market-based economy that has a comparatively high gross domestic product and per capita income. The nation has a high rate of participation in sporting activities and boasts a comparatively high life expectancy for both females and males. The standard of education is excellent with great government and private schools and a wide range of tertiary institutions to choose from. Schooling is compulsory from the age of five to 16. The rate of unemployment is low in Australia, but there are shortages of many professional and trade occupations. Australia is also blessed with uncountable national parks, conservation parks, game reserves, recreation parks, wildlife protection areas, conservation reserves, and marine reserves. Norway. The Kingdom of Norway is the westernmost country in the Scandinavian peninsula, made up of mostly a mountainous terrain. Norway's coastline is made up of thousands of miles of fjords, bays, and island shores. Whether you are driving or taking a rail trip, the stunning scenery which stretches for miles and miles is breathtaking. Norway is a high-income nation with a vibrant private sector and a substantial safety net. Healthcare is more or less free for everybody. Schools in Norway offer a well-rounded education and public education is not only inexpensive, but also of exceptional quality. And as the kids get older, parents can take comfort that Norwegian college and university education is offered free of charge. United States. The United States of America is a North American nation that is the world's most dominant economic and military power. Likewise, its cultural imprint spans the world. Led in large part by its popular culture expressed in music, movies, and television. The U.S. economy is the world's largest in terms of gross domestic product, and also the most technologically powerful. The U.S. is culturally and racially diverse, and was shaped by large waves of immigration from Europe and beyond. Whether you prefer a bustling metropolis or a quiet town, everybody will find their dream location in the U.S.A. The country is also home to some of the top universities in the world, including Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Despite being the foremost global power, the U.S. still faces domestic challenges, including racial tensions, income equality, and an increasingly polarized electorate. New Zealand. New Zealand is one of the world's best places to live in best place to raise your family. It has a very pleasant climate, cultural attractions, health care, a good educational system, and modern cities. New Zealand's stable, peaceful, and safer than just about anywhere else in the world. Low density and scattered population make for peaceful exploration of the nation's impressive mountains and pristine beaches of the Lord of the Rings trilogy movie fame. 
There are wonderful opportunities for young people to grow up with easy access to sports and outdoors, space and freedom, to ride horses, to run along open beaches, to swim in clean water, to walk through native forests, and to truly experience the beauty of the nature. Per capita, income remains high, and education expenditures as a percent of gross domestic product are some of the highest in the world.